Hello everyone, this is Aegis, and here's another set of games from the Collegiate Star League. These games are between uh, the universe, no, California State University, Sacramento, and uh, UIUC, University of Illinois at uh, Urbana-Champaign, I believe. And here I do have Dr. Zerg spawning for Sacramento. He's playing Zerg. He's spawned as the blue Zerg. And on the other side, I have D Twizzle spawning as the red Protoss playing for UIUC. And we are on the map Zelnaga Caverns. And we are seeing a PVZ here. Uh, we'll see what these players decide to do uh, in this matchup. And this is from the Collegiate Star League. This is from round 10 as well. Uh, well, from the recent patch, of course. So we do see Zerg moving off to scout with a drone. Again, uh, the Kaliga Star League, check out their website at cstarleague.com. We have games every weekend. We also do have streams available, uh, such as the UMBC stream. I do cast for the UMBC stream. You can check that out at livestream.com slash CSL underscore UMBC. Uh, we'll be on at 4 p.m. tomorrow. We do have uh, uh, the probe scouting up here, making sure that there's no expansion going down early. And uh, Protoss is now going to start walling off with his gateway. Uh, the Collegiate Star League has 144 schools, part of it. And we also hold events like the Collegiate Master Star League, which is coming up here at UMBC. You can come check it out. Uh, we do have a, a, a page on the C Star League website, or you could just email us at cmstarleague at gmail.com to find out more about it. D Twizzle now getting his gas. Uh, going to be quite standard here no rush coming out that probe is still watching for that natural expansion maybe he does want to go into the main sometime soon to see that the spawning pool is now on the way dr zergos also getting his gas he does want to get those speedlings out or maybe he wants to go roaches we'll never know uh, if he does decide to go for roaches he could could go for one base uh, seven roach bust we'll see if he that's one of the choices that he does decide to do uh, D Twizzle getting his cybernetics core here. He's got some probes not mining. They're finally getting them back to work. Maybe that was a poor rally point. Uh, sometimes it fails to work when you're just um, microing your uh, rally points around. This probe is going to be a little bit obnoxious there and blocking the drone from being able to throw down that expansion. So we do see a queen on the way. And uh, Dr. Zerg is going to get out some Zerglings, try to get rid of this probe before he's able to throw down that expansion. D Twizzle being extremely annoying, throwing down a pylon to block that expansion even more. Dr. Zerg is uh, approaching that to, uh, mineral count, so he'll be able to delay that expansion by a little bit. He does cancel that pylon, so we'll be able to salvage those minerals. We do have a warp gate research being thrown down by our Protoss player. He is getting his double gas, so we'll see what kind of tech he gets out. He needs to get out his first stalker before he's able to um, show... Oh, well, he's killing off the drone. He's killed off the drone, so he can do whatever he was about to do. Maybe he's going for Robotech robo or some other tech. We do see additional gateways coming up for D-Twizzle, and the expansion for Dr. Zerg is now on the way. And we also do have speed... And the queen's still chilling over here. She'll be doing that larva vomit soon, unless she's going to opt to throw down that creep tumor. Going to be able to join the main and the natural expansion, and Overlord going to be placed over here to, to be able to go in and check out what D Twizzle is trying to get. He's also getting some sentries out. We'll see if he does decide to go uh, for a lot of sentries and then get an expansion. It does look like he's getting additional sentries now, so that may be very well be what we will be seeing soon. The second queen is now on the way at the main, beginning the creep spread to the natural. This queen is uh, chilling out here. She should make her way over to that hatchery. Going to be able to get the larva vomit right away when that hatchery pops. Drones now being transferred to the natural, and we do have a Zergling Speed finishing up here, and Warp Gates are also done for D Twizzle. He's moving out and expanding. That uh, Zergling is going to spot this expansion. Does see the probe out there ready for the expansion. We do have the sentries moving out along with a Stalker. He's going to need to warp in a bunch of uh, sentries there to be able to spend his money. He's not supply blocked, so he should uh, do that soon, as soon as the cooldown is spent, I guess. 
Uh, Dr. Zerg going for that spine crawler does want to make sure that he doesn't get harassed early on. Two spine crawlers coming up. We'll see if he does make use of the gas that he's getting to get a lair. Spotting over here with an overlord as well, and D Twizzle looking to wall off the backside does not want to get any Zergling harass. We do have the overlord still spotting over here. We'll see what tech pattern that uh, D Twizzle does end up coming out with. Uh, he still has plenty of gas to spend on those sentries. Getting those sentries early will be allow the uh, energy to climb up rather high. We'll be able to throw down infinity force fields as uh, time goes on. We now do have a, a lair coming up at the Zerg Natural Expansion, also grabbing the gas. We also do see a evolution chamber on the way. So we are seeing Zerg uh, transferring uh, his uh, build into the late game. He's also moving in that Overlord to check for any uh, six gate or anything like that. We do have D-Twizzle moving his Stalker back, does want to pick off that Overlord, make sure it doesn't see too much here. We do have D-Twizzle also getting his Forge at his natural expansion area. Gonna get start getting that saturated, and we'll probably see a plus one upgrade really soon. Zerg now getting the Carapace upgrade, and the D-Twizzle is starting the plus one weapons upgrade. Uh, Dr. Zerg still... He's not vomiting larva anymore. Uh, no larva popping off at this hatchery. We do have larva coming up here at the main. We also do have the carapace level one, as well as overlords popping out. It does look like he got himself a little bit supply blocked there. Does want to remedy that by getting out those four overlords. The Twizzle now getting additional gateways. Uh, was still not really revealing what exactly he's trying to do here. He's grabbing tons of gas. He can continue warping in those sentries. Um, he's spending uh, more on those zealots here. He hasn't really scouted out to the Zerg base to see what Zerg is trying to get. We do see a spire coming up. Uh, D-Twizzle is going to have to get up some cannons in the back of his base. Maybe more stalkers to help reinforce. He's now grabbing the... Uh, pylons in the back, Zerglings uh, spotting around here, does want to see what's going on. Stalkers moving into position, not quite being able to take those out. The Zerglings going to get trapped here by the sentries. Uh, not quite those two Zerglings getting out over there with like approximately six health. We do see Zerg breaking on down these back rocks. Definitely wants to secure this fourth base, or no, this third base here. Uh, Protoss is now moving out with a hallucinated Phoenix. Does want to get that scouting information so that he knows exactly what is going on. The Phoenix stopping by that watchtower to see what's up over there. The, we now do see the uh, uh, Spire finishing up. Mutalisks will soon be on the way as we do see Dr. Zerg saving up plenty of gas and minerals to be able to uh, get those Mutalisks out. We do have uh, additional spine crawlers on the way. That Queen going to be able to take down that uh, 